What is going on, people? Welcome back. Johnny here, and we're going to pick up with the dwarfs. Working on the epic hold. Yes, I do find Real Ruins slags the game out. Every once in a while, the thing will just freeze for 5 to 10 seconds while Real Ruins generates a pristine ruins nearby quest, and I do find that very frustrating, so I wouldn't use that mod again. Regardless, we are having lots going on here. We have a magical delivery at the beginning. Someone has sent us some insect jelly for whatever that's worth. I think they get a little bit of recreation out of that at least. Meat-wise, we're doing fine. We have a raccoon over here that's mostly eaten, but I guess we can butcher it. And we're doing fine in terms of meat and veggies for the moment. High blood locations turned out pretty nice. We still haven't made the cloth yet to finish all the Dowie banners. The bears have plenty of homes here. It's starting to get too many cows. Probably have to do something about that before they starve in the winter time. And we're going to work on a tomb over here. So we're going to mine that bad boy out. We're also going to smooth all the entirety of the enclosed hold. We have some magic to improve some of the weapons we have laying around. I'm going to start with the better weapons make them more powerful I'm not going to go for legendary status on any of them though that raises our wealth far too significantly got a lot of work to do there's a bear battling against a troll here no idea who's going to win that one probably the bear there you go so they're pretty tough because the trolls are pretty tough too that's actually one of our bears out there he must got hungry but did what he needed to do. There's a Chimera that self-tames at that point. So, yeah, why not? We'll take a Chimera. I'm sure they have some magical attacks. Looks like they can do Fire Breath. That sounds like a major liability, but there you go. It's about that time that the Beastmen show up in force with a bunch of Chaos Beasts as well. Uh, Hacken is out there. It's not good for hacking. He's going to get his ass hacked a bit. Probably they've killed one of the foals already. Fortunately, hacking has pretty legitimate armor on. There's some wizards in their group as well. And a Cygore down there about to start chucking stones. That's not going to be good either. We have to get down there and see what we can do to save hacking. Foal 44 is now dead as well. I've been through more horses in this game than... Anyways, <laughs> so to see where we want to hold these guys, the cloven ones are back. That's no bueno. Hacking is down, and it looks like they're starting fires down there as well, as they will. There's another group outside, but they're not of utmost importance because the traps might just see them off. I guess I'll send somebody over there to man some of the war machines. We do have plenty of bodies around, so why not? Morrison, yeah, you can go over there too. I should probably man the grudge thrower since it's going to be significantly more effective at long range. We can even target the guys in the south with that. That's a mob of bears we have there. They just keep getting in my way when I set up battle lines. These guys are starting a major fire that's going to be a real problem. We might lose all of our hay stores here. Definitely all the stuff that's growing. We're not going to be able to defeat them and get all those fires put out in near enough time. So that's a little bit frustrating. Hacking's down and out, but it's just bruises, nothing major. Thanks to the armor. All right, here they come. We can do some magic on those two buttheads. The fires are spreading like crazy. Hagen seems to be doing okay. As long as he doesn't catch on fire, he should be able to sit there for a little while while we do this battle. We can do final transmutation. I just want to find a good target. This Minotaur looks fine. There you go. Bam. <laughs> More gold coming in. So it should be like another 500. That's phenomenal. And uh, I've sent a few people over to deal with the ones that are coming in the front gate. So there you go with that. Yeah, we can uh, lob our stone door down here. They're trying to get to my steam generator. There you go. Take that, you bastards. Even if it doesn't kill them, it'll do enough damage that they might bleed out. This dude right here has a whole lot of armor on. So that's going to be kind of tough to penetrate. But there's plenty of bears over there. Uh, we have a few different spells we can cast on him. I'm going to try and take this 
heavily armored dude down. Yeah, so we wasted the spell because the target was gone before the spell went off, but that's okay. <clears throat> Sigor, excuse me, is going to be a major problem if he starts chucking stones. I'm going to focus on him next. There goes Rot Bomb. <laughs> All right, yeah, that did the job too. Shem's burning gaze. The ones over at the gate are still not running. The fire is going bananas, but Hacken's still holding strong. His pelvis is cracked. That is a massive freaking fire down there. <laughs> Hacken's got to be cooking in his armor there. Calf number seven is dead. Stone thrower continues to help out. And the chimeras open the gates for our enemies, but I don't think that's much going to matter. A lot of them are bashing on the walls. I'm going to try and lead this guy and see if we can hit where he goes. So the cloven ones are fleeing in the south, but that doesn't do me much good because there's nowhere for him to flee. So I'm going to send my people over here and see if we can't blast this guy. That's all the hay and a good chunk of the cotton. Hacken actually gets up at that point. <laughs> I have him equip that weapon. Get the hell out of there before he starts on fire. Holy shit. <laughs> That's a mess. All right, now... These guys are trying to find an escape route, but there isn't one, so we're just going to come down and see about dealing with them. The other group is fleeing as well. I think if we undraft, they'll just do battle here. Maybe not. Or we draft and just let them sort it out. They don't know where to go. They don't want to fight. They've lost the will. Great Bear 11 is no more. He's been taken out as well. Something punched it in the neck. <laughs> That's interesting to say the least. So, anyways, we do have some issues to deal with down here in a major way, actually. I don't know how we're going to feed all these animals now that we've lost our hay. It's kind of weak sauce that they can do this, but there's got to be some chance at defeating this. We could find ways to mitigate this in terms of the mods and what I'm doing with them. But, yep, there go the hay stores. That hay straw floor goes up like tinder. It's really unfortunate, and this dude's down. I think we'll just finish him off. Hopefully I stop throwing rocks over here, because it's going to be bad. Uh, let's see. Uh, so we can strip them. If they have armor, we can smelt their armor from material, so that'll be just fine. Otherwise, time to put out fires, I suppose. It's going to take a while, no doubt. So they'll get that put out eventually. <laughs> Give <them laughs> Hacken's just fine. He wants to put out fire, too. A lot of the critters are croaking. I need to get them out of there one way or the other. Uh, looks like they brought some overhead mountain down, too. At least they brought us a bunch of steel and a nice tin axe we can take apart. Uh, there's a f The bear was on fire. <laughs> well, everybody's rushing down to put out the fire. We have another big mess out here to deal with. This dude's not going to last very long. Oh, that's a freaking mess, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, let's get all the animals out, assuming they'll leave. The temperature's in there, getting a bit... Oh my gosh, look at these guys. I probably have to just let those fires burn out. Everybody get out of there. ASAP, we certainly can't. <laughs> they want to eat meals in there. It says it's only 47 degrees, but holy shit, that can't be the case, right? Mountains, walls, and roofs. I don't know. Trado just showed up to put the fire out. <laughs> no, oh, I thought he was on fire, but no. All right, uh, we have a carcinoma due to tobacco use. That sucks, but we have some magical cures for that. We can eventually leverage. There's our statue, 500 more gold, and we do have an empire recruit caravan here. That dude's pretty well injured, and he's a pyro, so we'll say no to that. Gold mantle here. Decent health, nervous, and slothful. Uh, that's a good no thank you, but we can do some other trading with them while they're here. And yeah, there's messes everywhere to clean up. It's been a while since we had a decent caravan. I did buy some steel off them and a belt of ardor. They've mined out the entirety of the area. We're going to block off all these hallways and clean everything up so that the entire livable space is enclosed and is clean and pretty we don't want to have any messy unfinished shit around hacken's recovering just fine and there's a bear here that died of infection henry i think that might no we didn't start with a bear i don't know been with us a long time but he's not anymore 
Maybe we could make a mantle out of them. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff I find back here that was overflow from all the stripping that we did in the <laughs> inside that room there where we keep the carcasses <laughs> and stuff. Just open space that it overflowed into per the game. There's even some wooden walls down here, which is interesting. Not going to find anything of any real use, most likely, but that's okay. We'll do what we can. And there's a social fight. It doesn't really happen too often here, but on a rare occasion they get into it with each other. It was during a wedding, too. So maybe the drinks were flowing a little too strongly. It sounds about right in a dwarven hold, even though it's humans fighting. They can't handle their dwarven liquor. <laughs> that's pretty entertaining. So all the plants are dead. It is spring, though. We could start planting more and to bring some food down here these guys have nothing to eat it's a bit unfortunate but there you go all right everybody gets plus 20 for quite a while that's phenomenal it should keep the moods up we have inspired trade for war that'll be good next time we get a caravan assuming we get one that uh what is this uh i'm trying to form a caravan here but it's time we got out and did some trading. We have way too much stuff to sell. Not enough capacity with the animals we have to actually do it. So we're going to have to leave some stuff behind. I'm going to take as much as I can, though, and try and make a massive sale. So they'll hopefully get that together. I think we started doing that at about 6 a.m. I'm going to take all the bears, too. We can sell a bunch of these bears off. We certainly don't need a massive pack of them. Uh, why is there one freaking horse left? <laughs> Somebody better be coming for that. Yeah, someone's coming for it. Okay, good. Uh, I tell ya. Room world caravanning. There we go. It's Hacken, of all people. He's been a popular name around here. <laughs> I don't know why those two high blood court icons are small. No idea. Regardless, uh, I'm sending one of the Thanes out, the Slayer Thane. Seems like we should have some leadership on the caravan trail three days to the destination almost nine days of food some other trading partners will visit the ogres the empire tribal humans these guys hate us we have enough crap perhaps that we can gift it to them and they'll like us i don't know there's also some ruins down there if we want to get involved with that mess I'm not sure. <clears throat> so we'll see how our wares hold up i've expanded the guest tomb and we're going to actually build this proper tomb for our people there eventually. A lot of work to do, but that's okay. Keeps them all occupied. Makes the place prettier, bigger, cooler as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, we're going to I have to stick these people in a zone down there in order to get them to actually plant all the hay because there's so much other growing going on. Some family members show up of some of our existing pawns. The carcinoma is in remission, fortunately. It doesn't stop Yurik from smoking more. I guess that's about how it goes, typically. Caravan is getting near to its destination as well. It's 7 a.m., so they should be there before too long. What else do we have going here? We don't have any haulers left on hand, so... A lot of our fires are going to go out and things just aren't going to get hauled unless I do priority hauls on them. So here's our trade. And we have all kinds of textiles, $8,000 worth textiles alone here. And then we're going to sell a ton of clothes too. They have 194 gold, which is our main goal. We could buy some buildings. They're not buying Empire clothing for some reason. So I'm going to have to, I made a note. I'm going to have to go back and see what the hell is wrong with the Empire mod. Why the Empire clothing won't be purchased by people. Seems kind of strange, but there you go. <clears throat> Observed rotting corpse times four. What the hell is that nonsense? As a beast man, you should be happy. <laughs> All right, we've made it to these other guys. We have a ton of regular clothing they'll buy. Hopefully the ogres have some pawns to sell. Typically if they visit you, they do, but I don't know if their own homes will have that or if there's just some kind of default. I'm going to burn all these carcasses as well. Let's see about getting the hell out of there too. Here we go. Take care of that mess once and for all, once again. And... We have plenty of Beastman armors to 
get rid of now. We can smelt those down for material. That'll be good. Make sure they're on the list of things that are getting smelted, and indeed they are. So we just wait a little while. We're almost at the ogre settlement, and there you go. I'm going to sell a bunch of bears to them. Somehow it seems fitting. We've bought a bunch of learning potions, and magical boots, and they have gold as well, so that's good. We'll pick up a decent supply of gold again. We also have a rug that they're going to buy. We might as well do the full rounds while we're out and about and we have the food to do it. We also have a ton of cash. The thrombos show up at that point. And since they take out my traps, I've decided I'm going to make it a point to take them out. With the embrasures, it's not really a threat. So probably don't want to go blowing them up with flame cannons, so we'll just have to try and do it the old-fashioned way. They're all at least reasonably well injured as well so let's see what we can accomplish here hopefully i don't start myself on fire though Let's stick everybody on drafted hunt if we can get them all maddened be a good thing for us i suppose gleaming arrows yeah we can leverage some magic here as well for whatever that's worth let's see final transmutation doesn't do much good there's the damn fire <laughs> tronka you, you just go somewhere else man there we go. Get out of there, you. You start, start a castle on fire. <laughs> oh, we got them down. <laughs> Berserk cast failed. Interesting. I must have cast some spell on him. Didn't do its thing. Ah, so it's got the two Slaneshi spells that I'm leveraging as well. Kaza, get in there. Tronco, get in there. Everybody, shoot. All right, we've made it over to the other tribal people. And we still have some bears. I'd like to make make it home with some they do have gold as well so that worked out let's see can we come trade with these guys 3.1 days we have nine and a half days of food it's 3.4 days home I'm thinking we just go south and do some more trading there's a manhunter pack not terribly surprising and it is ouch mastiffs maybe we can close this door before they get over here maybe I need to get more of those magic boots because uh, they do a good job in terms of keeping people from... All right, I think we got it. Bam, look at that. Now we just forbid these doors. These dogs can keep us safe from any other raids we may get. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's a lot of big, scary dogs making a whole lot of noise out there. So I think we're fine, though. I'm just going to go on the ignore, ignore mode. <laughs> All right, we got a new encounter coming here. We've been ambushed by manhunters there as well. I don't know what it is with animals on the rim world, but holy shit. Just keep bringing it, man. Oh, we have some magic. We might as well leverage it against them. I do need to find a way to meditate because they won't do that here on the road. There we go. Oh, I could use the snare and drop a few. There we go. Oh, it's one down anyway. Where's that? Snare spell that should drop several of them at once. There we go, especially if you hit a group, a tight pack. Man, there we go. Caravan battle one. Finish those guys off. Could butcher them up. Now I have a troll heart we can sell, but they all end up rotting. I'm going to take these doors apart and see if we can't find anything useful in there while we're here. The bears are mauling local fauna. <laughs> and anyway, I guess we can get on the road. Not much to find. Uh, it's just wherever it's fine. It doesn't matter. All right. Anyways, carrying on. 76 Mastiffs right now. It's kind of bananas. That would have overrun us. Oh, it looks like the pirates have shown up. So I think the dogs are going to show up and deal with the bastard. There we go. Oh, oh, those poor pirates. <clears throat> would have been nice to capture somebody and recruit, but clearly that's not going to happen. The ogre, ogre somewhere has a... Lead Belcher cannon, you can hear it blasting off. There's so many dogs they can't get through the tunnels. <laughs> that is not good for those raiders. Fortunately, I mean, maybe sadly, it's not a huge raid. Dogs do send them packing before too long. We need to get out and strip those people. There's still 48 Mastiffs around. Some of them are laying here injured, but either way, it's a fair amount of material sitting there. I think we can smelt those Empire staffs down for steel uh oh sorry for gold i meant there's an ogre trader but he's got magic too he's a chaos sorcerer uh, he's not gonna last very long with the mastiff so <laughs> it doesn't much matter what he is should have given himself that boost spell stupid staff well he left us some goodies 
three of them barrels. I need to turn those off in the settings. We have 3.9 days of food somehow, but we're only 2.4 days away from our destination, so should be able to buy some food when we get over there. And these dogs are just on a rampage, man. I like the trolls. They'll keep trying to kill them, and they'll kill it, and then the dog will rat immediately, and then they'll just go attack another one <laughs> until the trolls go down. Oh, they finally got a meal out of them there. Good. That's all right, though. They're there. This guy's doing it, too. And we're doing a lot of smoothing. That's going to be the theme for the next couple episodes, probably, given how many smoothing jobs I put in. Got most of our crops replanted down here in terms of the hay grass. It's probably, well, I mean, we have plenty of time for it to grow back. So whenever we get back, I have yet to get a single crop of devil strand. I'm finding that a bit frustrating. It's not a third of the way done, and we are past the third of the growing season. So I, hopefully I can get an early harvest on it at least. All right, the dogs seem to have mostly cleared out. There's a whole lot of rat stink in that tunnel, but... I guess we can go check it out. I'd like to get any dogs that aren't rotten brought in as well, just for the meat and the hide, for whatever that's worth. That's one of our big money makers at the moment. Ambrosia sprout. Oh, we got a high blood court. Gotrick's decided to see if he can rouse the people after that glorious victory <laughs> where we didn't have to do anything to take out the raiders. Holy crap, there's blood everywhere. Oh, what a mess. But, hey-ho, they'll get it all picked up. It's hard without enough bodies here. This troll is hunting us. Let's see if we can bring him down. And that's a big fat... No, <laughs> Jory's got his ass kicked. I had to send somebody over there that was out picking up a dog to save him, but it didn't take too much. All right, can we carry on here? Where are we at? Magical delivery, very nice. Steel, can always use that, plus the bonus of more steel. <laughs> there we go. All right. Frysing, we've made it to Frysing, and we still have odds and ends to buy and sell. They do have more gold, too, so making a fair amount of gold. I guess it's time to go back. I would smash this outcast base over here, but I'm going to make custom bases for those. I keep telling myself, I've actually been telling myself that for years. Anything we can't trade, I think I might dump on the ground. Like it, anything that's worthless. Ungo or bows are definitely worthless. I'm going to see about altering the configuration because all that empire clothing should be sellable. If we have something that's tainted, there's an empire robe, or sorry, a beast man robe. We certainly don't want that. And there's some dwarfs visiting at this point as well. I guess the more the merrier. Sadly, they don't just show up think it's awesome here and decide to join <laughs> whatever uh whatever yeah we're just gonna buy some smokes off them get rid of some garbage that we still have laying around and the caravan is near to home again already that was a good circuit next time we'll head south we have a ton of animals you can see almost all the lights are burned out and either way our haulers shall return momentarily <clears throat> there they are they're back nobody is picking up anything around here. It's so frustrating. I'm going to manually empty the gear off these horses and then I can force them to put it away. Michael's going to smash random stuff. That's okay. As long as they're not going to smash the steam generators, it's not too big of a deal. Anything he smashes should be repaired. Okay, Mad Gazelles is the next threat. Just a never-ending string of BS. It's a lot of gazelles too. As soon as someone steps outside, they're all going to rush over to our traps. So if I disallow those doors, traps may not end up being destroyed. So we do have a bunch of these potions. I guess we might as well use them to keep the wealth down and make our pawns better at what they're doing. So we'll just stay on top of that. One of them died on a trap, but that's not too bad. None of these guys will rot immediately. And once they go to sleep, they'll wake up normal. So that's okay. Stoneheart used a medical learning potion to go from level 4 to level 6. That's nice. <clears throat> Holy crap, this room is full. A lot of the stuff's getting put in here that shouldn't. We have a love potion. I'll probably end up using that on Gotrick and Yi. I don't know. Yida might be with somebody else. I'll have to see. Either way, a ton of iron here. That's good. I can start making traps out of iron again for whatever it's worth. Looks like most of the floor smoothing is done as well, so... Please leave me a like if you are enjoying. Leave a comment. 
gold is at 5031 now so about a 20th of what we need that's okay unless we're going for a million we'll see how it goes i think we're unstoppable though <laughs> i'll see you next time